The three best American machines of the armed forces of Ukraine, a pair of M2 Bradley fighting vehicles and the M1 Abrams tank, were spotted in battles in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. They broke through Russian defenses south of the small village of Novi Put, which was spotted by a UAV. According to Forbes, the Bradleys were moving forward, releasing smoke for cover and firing their automatic cannons, while the Abrams supported the assault. The publication noted that while military forces in Ukraine's eastern regions are lacking equipment, the best equipment is being used on Russian territory. Ukraine is facing significant problems in the east. The 47th Brigade of the Ukrainian Army, which has Ukrainian M2s and M1s, is engaged in futile battles near a border village with Russia, while the 79th Air Assault Brigade has almost lost its defensive line in Ilinka, located south of Kurokov. If Ilinka falls, it will likely head to the fall of Kurokov as well. Losing Kurokov could trap half a dozen Ukrainian brigades in a pocket in the southern Donetsk region. An encirclement or pocket, as Ukrainian journalist Stanislav Asiv noted, is a classic battlefield tactic that the Russian army in Ukraine has used with devastating results in recent months. Russians continue to employ this tactic, bypassing positions of the armed forces of Ukraine from three sides and leaving a narrow throat for retreat. This leads to panic in encircled units, even in capable units, and in turn leads to troop withdrawal. Forbes reports that if Ukraine loses these territories, it will desperately need to defend the fortress city of Pokrovsk. But if they lose it, the entire defense line in eastern Ukraine may collapse. The situation in the Kursk region is described as ambiguous. In other words, there is hope, but also risks. Although Ukrainian forces achieved success in early August, they still need to understand the strategic implications of their attack. If Ukraine aimed to draw significant Russian forces into Kursk to exhaust them in the east, it did not succeed. Russia was able to counterattack in Kursk without slowing its advance on Donetsk. If Ukraine's goal is to hold part of Kursk in exchange for parts of Russian-occupied Ukraine during future peace talks, it is a risky move. Some Ukrainian military personnel also question the value of the Kursk region in the context of battles for Ilinka and the risks for Kurokov and Pokrovsk. Many people doubt the feasibility of current Ukrainian operations. A UAV observer known on social media as Kriegsforsha believes that Bradleys and Abrams should be in eastern Ukraine, where they can help contain the Russian advance. The Ukrainian Defense Forces managed to achieve successes in the Kharkiv region and near Toretsk. However, Russian occupiers continue to advance in Kupiansk, Pokrovsk, Kurokov, Volodar and the Kremina area. South Korea's military urged North Korea on Tuesday to end what it described as illegal provocations after Pyongyang fired a barrage of ballistic missiles into the sea. The North fired multiple short-range ballistic missiles toward its eastern sea, the South Korean military said, as the country continued its weapons demonstrations hours before the U.S. presidential election. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said the missiles flew about 400 kilometers, 250 miles, but didn't specify how many were fired. Japanese Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba said they landed in waters outside of Japan's exclusive economic zone and there were no immediate reports of damage. We will not tolerate this and warn that North Korea will be held responsible for any consequences that follow, Nam ji Su, Deputy Chief of Public Affairs at South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff, said at a media briefing in Seoul. The launches came days after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un supervised a flight test of the country's newest intercontinental ballistic missile designed to reach the U.S. mainland. In response to that launch, the United States flew a long-range B-1B bomber in a trilateral drill with South Korea and Japan on Sunday in a show of force. That drew condemnation from Kim's powerful sister Kim Yo-jong who on Tuesday accused North Korea's rivals of raising tensions with aggressive and adventuristic military threats. South Korean officials have said that North Korea was likely to dial up its military displays around the U.S. presidential election to command the attention of Washington. South Korea's military intelligence agency said last week that North Korea has also likely completed preparations for its seventh nuclear test.
원이세요? 북한은 비열한 오물 쓰레기 풍선 살포와 GPS 교란 등으로 우리 국민의 안전을 위협해 왔습니다. 또한 북한은 경의선과 동해선 남북 연결교로 폭파 쇼를 벌여 국제사회로부터 고립을 자초하면서 스스로를 혹독한 수용소로 만들고 있습니다. 특히 최근 ICBM 발사에 이어 오늘도 단거리 탄도미사일 수발을 발사하는 등 불법적인 도발을 지속 획책하고 있습니다. 이러한 탄도미사일 발사는 명백한 안보리 결의 위반이며 한반도의 긴장을 고조시키는 위협으로 중단되어야 합니다. 우리는 이를 결코 좌시하지 않을 것이며 이후에 어, 어떠한 결과에 대한 책임은 북한에게 있음을 다시 한번 경고한다. 우리 군은 북한한 한미연합방위태세하에 북한의 다양한 활동에 대해 예의주시하면서도 어떠한 도발에도 압도적으로 대응할 수 있는 능력과 태세를 유지하고 있습니다. 북한은 